This video contains spoilers, and if you've not completed Fire Emblem Awakening, or at least gotten halfway through the game, I advise you don't watch it. But then again, if you want to watch it and you don't care about spoilers, then go ahead. Hello, my name is Herwolf, and welcome to a brand new video. This is going to be the second in the big videos that comes out every fortnight. But it's going to be a couple of days late. It's either going to come out on the Monday or Tuesday afterwards. But how about we just go straight into it. And unlike the last video where it was talking about like all the good things about a game, we're talking about some rather depressing stuff today. We're talking about Fire Emblem. But what could possibly be bad about Fire Emblem? It's not that something's bad about Fire Emblem. It's that something's depressing about Fire Emblem. A certain chapter in Fire Emblem in a certain game Fire Emblem. Chapter 10 Fire Emblem Awakening It pulled up my heartstrings I don't know why, but there's something about this chapter which just brought me down emotionally wise. It's a chapter after Chrom's sister. In in the I'm not even gonna put I'm not even gonna go and attempt to pronounce it. I play the game in Japanese, so I don't even know how it's meant to be like said but yeah, it's th the words up on the screen, what her name is. It's a chapter after she, spoiler alert, dies, um, or jumps to her own death. And it's just like, everything's just gone to crap. Like, crumbs and like, crap, and like, everything's in crap. And it's, I can't remember properly, but this is literally all going off my memory. I've not gone and done any research into this, it's just going off my memory for playing the game. But um, it's the chapter after that, chapter 10, where it's, um, <laughs> I'm getting prepared for this, where you're fighting, um, I'm, I believe it's like bandits, or I don't even know, um, but they, most of the bandits there don't even want to fight your team and with Krom, because they feel bad about the whole situation, and the leader of the entire situation, of the um, enemy team, you can tell deep down that he wants to back out, but he can't otherwise. The king or whatever, I don't even know, his leader will kill his wife and children or whatever. And to be honest, it really pulled me because it made me real realise as all these people were leaving the battle that he actually killing real people. I mean it's a video game, you're not actually killing real people. But in the real video game, if it was real life, you're actually killing real people with like families and stuff. It just made me realise that and it's just like oh and he, like the guy's just like this is going off all my memory by the way. He's just like, um, Spur my men, or whatever, I'm gonna sacrifice myself, something like that. He's like, Spur my men, and I was like, Oops, I kind of would have killed them. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, and it's actually it's actually quite an important part because, like, it's one of the only chapters where, like, people are actually leaving the battlefield from their own free will. So, it's like, you're not getting challenged, you're not like getting a one up from the enemy, you're not being challenged at all, like, you're not in a bad situation. You yeah, actually could beat the battle perfectly easily. It's just people leaving and it makes you realise that you kill other real people. And that's a huge thing for a video game to do. The video game's not made me like think stuff like that since like Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. I'm just like oh, this is episode <laughs> And not to mention the music in the background. I'm pretty sure it's called Don't Tell Me Her Name or something. It's like don't speak her name, don't speak of her name or something, that's like the music in the background. And it's, it's just so perfect, it's like, normally in battle you'd expect like regal battle music or just like, I don't know, whatever, just war music where it's like all like dead fiery or dead regal. But this is just depressing and it's just like, it can, you can help, you can imagine your fighters crying as they're like killing someone. And it's just like, why are you doing this to me? <clears throat> Yeah, but that's like chapter 10, I think, in the Fire Emblem Awakening. It's a very, very good game. I advise it a lot. I advise the entire Fire Emblem, Fire Emblem series. I don't know why none of my friends like it. Actually, I, I recall one of my friends tried out the demo. He said, no, the graphics are bad. And I was like, are you kidding me? Why would you not play a game because it has stylized graphics? But anyway, that's life. Nintendo are very innovative. And these days people don't like innovative, even though they say it every day that they like it. But then again, they rather play the same Call of Duty every year than try out a new game like Splatoon. So that's Fire Emblem Chapter 10. There's not really much to say about it. You need to actually play the game yourself. 
in order to like experience what I experienced because I've not had something make me feel that depressed since like Pokemon Mystery Dungeon when I completed that and I was like oh this is sad that's sad that's sad that's sad but then again there's like a DLC or something later which helps you revive your um, Chrome sister or whatever so it's like it's okay it's okay it's okay so thank you for watching and goodbye